welcome to the programme to comedian Mr. Pat Mooney. Uh, good evening, welcome. I'm glad to be here with you, Ken. Right. Yeah. Pat, um, the comedian's television show, obviously, you owe a lot to the show. Oh yes, well it got uh, it got a lot of us off the off the ground in the clubs in the north of England. Uh, people saw the comedians program all over the country, and uh, we all became well known nationally, as opposed to working in sort of Lancashire and Yorkshire all the time. You know. Of course, you yourself have also done a lot of television and radio work after the comedians finished. Oh yes, I have a I have done the Battle of the Comics, the Good Old Days twice, uh, the Wheel Tappers and Shunters Club twice. A seaside special and several and then a lot of radio programs I, uh, um, I did the Windsor Davis show which is on radio next Saturday night at seven o'clock and uh, I, I keep pretty busy doing things like that you know I also do a lot of after dinner speeches in London and yeah. a lot of sporting functions football writers association dinners and things like that there you know yeah. something yeah. different oh yeah it's yeah. A, I'm well I do I'm working clubs I'm doing Ponton's holiday camps all summer down at Torquay and Weymouth and Western Supermare and Burnham and Sea and all over the place, you know. Tonight at the Heatherton Grange, your act is around about the 50 minute mark. When I see you on television in the good old days, it was a very, very short spot and you, you attacked a lot in it. Which do you prefer? Well, I love doing the good old days because the, the audience are marvellous. But of course, I record a lot longer than uh, they actually show on the box. Yeah. I record about 12 or 15 minutes and the producer cuts it down to whatever he thinks uh, the time he can afford me. Yeah. The last good old days I did was which is on March the 14th this year uh, Ken Dodd was the star of the show mm. and as he's a big star comedian obviously he got the bulk of the yeah. time on the program you know in your act is there any particular theme that you work around or have you sort of just acquired your material from various sources and there isn't a particular theme that runs through the act well I I work on the Irish theme obviously being an Irishman I was born in Belfast uh, about um, years ago you know and uh, I um, I sort of work as an, an Irish comedian. Anybody in from Ireland tonight? <laughs> the Irish fellow walked into a plumber's. He said, "I'd like to buy a bath." The fellow says, "Would you like a plug with it?" He says, "Why? Is it electric?" <laughs> 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 Big Paddy rang the doctor. He says, "Doctor Jesus, I'm having terrible trouble with me sex life." <laughs> doctor says, "Paddy, you're not fit enough for sex. You'll have to get fit. You're too fat. Run ten miles a day for a fortnight." Then give us a ring, let me know how your sex life is. And a fortnight later, Big Paddy rang the doctor. The doctor says, how's your sex life now? Oh, he says, Jesus, I have no idea. I'm 140 miles from home. <laughs> uh, I have a license to tell Irish jokes more than anyone else being, yeah. uh, being from Ireland. But I try to venture into all sorts of things. I try to, try to avoid being unpo uh, unpolitical and uh, non-religious and non-sectarian uh, or colour or anything like that. There. I try to avoid that if I can, you know, because... I don't like to offend people, yeah. and I don't like telling uh, dirty jokes either, you know, because, uh, you know, men are out, maybe a man might be out with his wife and daughter, and I don't want to embarrass them, yeah. so I try to keep the act as clean as possible, you know. Going around the clubs like you are now, like tonight, basically, you've got a duo which plays music for dancing, so it's not really a show in itself, it, it's the cabaret with one star. Yeah. Do you do a lot of clubs where you are the sole star, or do you do a lot of clubs where there are two or three acts, almost a show? Well, uh, it varies actually, Ken, to tell you the truth. Uh, uh, in April I did two weeks at the Theatre Royal Norwich in a full show where I was the star of the show and I had singers and dancers and everything else on with me and it was that's a full some, production, you know. Some good write-ups from the critics, I believe. Yes, yeah. there were super write-ups, yeah. Uh, far better, you think I'd written them myself, they were that <laughs> good, you know. But uh, And then last Monday night I was at the Hilton Hotel uh, with Peter Cook and Elton John. Uh, and uh, so the competition can be get pretty serious yeah. at times and I was the last one on as well listen I love talking about kids you know because they give me a lot of fun children you know if you're fortunate enough to have kids of your own they probably give you a lot of joy I've got three kids three five and seven funny names aren't they, aren't they really, you know? my sister's got a funny kid it's called glub glub the parish priest dropped it in the font <laughs> Well, there's a little school downtown. This is true. Jared Gardens, just beside Jared Gardens. Only go to the posh places, you know. 
and the teacher's getting the kids to do their sums and they're only seven and they love to sing out in school when they're seven and she says to the first little boy Jimmy jump up and do your one times tables and little Jimmy jump up and be a minute dab ah ah one 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 two three one three three one four four very good Jimmy Harry two times table two one two 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 four two three six two four six very good Sambo three times table three one three a three two six a three three is nine a three four is twelve very good Paddy four times tables and he went Ha 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 the late night cabaret, I go on at 11 o'clock and normally the only act on of the evening, you know, and the sort of cabaret for the evening, you know. Mm -hmm.